Quiet. Well, let me tell you what I did in case you didn't. And I've sent, I sent you the, 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 um, the thing in your email. Uh, that nerd, that his wife came out and was quoting me, reciting me the YMCA, trying to be cute, you know, trying to recite me the YMCA. And then she came up with some crap about my car. So I took the high road. I said, you know, unlike every, unlike everyone else, at least you are productive with your life. You're a, a nurse and you are a hospice nurse. So I can't really say too much bad about that. I said, uh, you know, you, you're rewarding and, you know, hospice nurses were anyway to that vein. And I gave her a compliment for being a hospice nurse. Said so, she kind of was somewhat human to me, and uh, well, re you can read it. I don't really have a problem necessarily with her, I don't have a problem with her per se. She's linked in with a guy that's a piece of shit. I'm not, you know, so you know, I kind of gave her some props, and she was thankful, and I and I told her she's welcome, and uh, I just told her point blank, you know, what time it is. These other people, though, are mentally sick. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. You notice when sometimes when they bring her on, she's not really talkative or she won't say anything. I think she's embarrassed. I think she's absolutely embarrassed by him. And the fact that that's all he does is stay on the Internet. If that woman was not a part of his world that note on that house would not be paid for. Nothing would be paid for. She's the one that keeps that keeps that going. And uh, I bet you dimes to donuts to that. No, she's made some comments. Don't get me wrong. She's made some nasty comments, no doubt about that. But I'm sure she's told him, look, you know, let's 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 stop doing this shit. You know, making these, you know, it serves no purpose. I bet you she's told him that, and I bet they've had arguments over the shit. Um. No, she you really can't. I mean, she is a nurse. She is a nurse, a hospice nurse. So you really can't condemn her. The only thing you can condemn her for is for not having good taste when it comes to you know people. And mind you, now I don't. It's gonna I, you know whatever. It's gonna be interesting to see how that unfolds, though. I'm sure they're gonna be talking about that. I don't know, and that's none of my business, and I don't want to get involved in all that. I just. The bottom line is, I told her, if, if her husband keeps it up, I'm going after her husband. I told her that. I said, I've had enough of it, and I'm going to go after him if he keeps the shit up. But you see, the problem is, though, he probably, he works, supposedly, he does woodcraft work. So he owns his own business, which means he ain't making any money. So the breadwinner of that house is her. So that means I'll be coming after her. And there's a fourth one, which I think is a troll. But I don't know who in the hell is what. There's told you there's one other anonymous that fills me into what they're doing on Discord. And Simon as well. But Simon asked me questions too, which I, yeah, I know he's insane. And then there's another one on there, which I don't know who in the hell that is. She clearly initiates everything by speaking of me every week. So if she wants to get a protection order, she needs to cease with the communication about me on public airwaves and on the internet. Yeah, I forgot all about that person. Well, that person is just disgusted of the whole thing. That person is backing away from it. Not really telling me much, but just telling me basically what they do and all that. But they're they're disgusted. They're backing away. No, no, the anonymous one. That person told me that they're told me that they would they find what I do funny, and they've been watching me for a long time. They find what Kevin and I do to be funny. Uh, that person says that they're that they're tired of the all the all the stuff going on with uh, with Anthony. They have friends or distance, but they're they're discontinuing, you know, whatever they're all that crap because they think it's just a bunch of horse shit. I think what I need to do, and I don't want to be the cause of it, but I think it's already in the works. I don't want to be in the cause of it, but I think it's already in the works. The white, the, I think I, you know, they're already bringing it out to the wife and whatnot and telling the wife what's going on. She already knows that's going to crumble really fast, really soon, if he doesn't stop what he's doing. And that's going to do, do it on its own. Well, he's 
drumming the stuff about the saying that that was real the uh what they did was real about the the blm the blm stuff and i told him no that was not real so he said yeah they hate it i said no that's not real so that i we got into it on that and so he kind of stopped talking about that and he starts talking about melanie and what melanie is doing all right we're talking about four different things now yeah as far as the wife is concerned she doesn't want any of this to go out she doesn't want him to know any of the conversation so it might get leaked out too if they're tracking what i'm saying it's liable to get leaked out anyway but i don't want to be the one to do it or the fact that maybe she could be telling him told him already but just trying to play it but i don't think that's the case i first thought that maybe she could have been she told him just to play just to play play me but I honestly think she's dead serious, and I think she's real about what she's saying, so I don't believe that for a second. I think this is legitimate, and she really doesn't want him to know. But you know how they have a, t a tendency on sitting on some things as well. All right, now going back to Watt, what did, I, I, didn't, I didn't know, or I heard that it was the emails. I didn't, I didn't really see much of anything. So what, what, is, what is the gotcha thing with Watt? All right, this is giving me a fucking headache. This is tight. Damn, like what is and this is just this is insane. Let me let me let me go back to what you sent me. Hold on. All right, this is the first time I've ever seen this email. So I didn't know this was even even an email that was used. So it's his email, but it's the first time I've ever, ever seen this email. Gives a fuck what that what that homeless piece of shit that homeless piece of shit that lived in a tool shed gives a fuck what he says. If he was to tell me that it was going, if he was to tell me something, I would do the complete opposite of what he told me. I would believe the complete opposite. Well, that would explain then why Watt was, I don't know what was wrong with Watt. I saw Watt walking from work. I picked him up and Watt was all shaken up. Watt was really shaken up. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was inquiring what, what's wrong, but he couldn't, he, he said just to drive him home. So I drove him home and yeah, so I don't know what's going on. He says he's having a, a mania attack, bipolar bipolar mania attack. Um, yeah, this is this is getting out of hand. They were uh, jumping up, jumping up, saying that I uh, was dating this disabled woman. I'm taking advantage of her. Is that still being talked about, or did that get thrown under the under the cracks? Oh, peanut butter and jam and banana sandwiches. Oh my God, peanut butter and jam and jelly and banana sandwiches with marmalade. Yum, 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 yum. Phyllis, good morning. What I need is where they mention Henry Mitchell's name. Do you do you see that? Because I'm not seeing that. Where I need to see where Henry Mitchell's name was mentioned, where Henry Mitchell went ahead and talked to a prison uh, person, what like you said, because I'm not seeing where they said that. I'm seeing where he, here it is, and they're giving the information. But I'm not seeing the stuff like where the for the prison, where how the stuff was obtained from the prison, and who did it, which was Henry Mitchell. I'm going to the Social Security office. Kevin is telling me that's what I should do to go to the Social Security office, and perhaps change my Social Security number for all the good that's going to do. Let me, let me finish what I'm saying first. So I just found out that I have to, to in order to, even if it's dismissed, I have to go ahead and get it expunged. So which means I have to go to the, the, the circuit court of the county, get the documents, get the summons, then go to the record room and get fingerprinted, and then go to the Virginia State Police to ask for the cases to be removed completely. So, isn't that a crock of shit? And these are the cases that were dismissed. There are only two charges that are on my on, on my thing that are for the same thing with the hostess Twinkie guy. If you remember, if you read my book, I was assaulted or whatever, and the hostess Twinkie pie guy took a pie cart to me, and then I got in a fight. So I got two assault and batteries for the same thing back in 93. That, that's the only thing that stays on there. The other two are dismissed, but they don't, they're, they're showing there. So I have to go through all that shit to get it dismissed. Social, Social Security Administration told me unless I'm in uh, jeopardy of my life, 
or I'm, you know, all this bullshit, unless I'm in deep jeopardy of my life, that they cannot uh, change my social security number. There's nothing they can do on their, their end with my social security number being compromised. They can't change it. They can't change it. They can't freeze it. That I've got to call the credit bureaus up to freeze the credit, and then that freezes everything. And then I have to make an investigation, online investigation with the police. And you know what the police do? Absolutely nothing. This is where your boyfriend comes into play. Your boyfriend is the only one that I could probably uh, think they can probably do something. And if he can, we need to do a three-way call tonight. I got an email from him saying he was in the Ukraine. So uh, it must be uh, really early there or something. I don't know. All right, what's the word? Because I'm going to be busy here in a minute. I'm, I've paused. Well, I've got to start DoorDash back up, but I've kind of paused it for a little bit. So uh, let me know. Obviously, they tried to get other people on. They couldn't get anybody else on but her. That's pathetic. She's going to give them what they want, make up stories. Yeah. If anything, she was. If we were doing a party, and she was going to be invited by actually Vince... Vince Newman was the one that was trying to get in her pants. And, um, well, Vince would get in, would try to get anybody's pants. But anyway, that's a, that's a different story altogether. I'll have to go to the uh, mail, the P.O. box. I'll have to change my P.O. box number now, probably. So when I go to the, uh, to the post office here in a little bit, or probably tomorrow, I'll be changing my P.O. box number. So, yeah, good luck with all that shit. And this job that I was supposed to get, or the job that I thought I was going to get, it's not going to happen. So, so that that puts a damper on things right now. Are you able to still see that fake account with my middle name, with me and Hank? Uh, because it got me blocked from it. And if so, we need to knock it out, flag the hell out of it. Actually, go ahead and send it to Chad. Send it to me and then send it to Chad and see if he can knock it down. Um, it's the Facebook with with me and Hank. It's a fake a fake account. And I believe that fucking uh, deuce is behind it. That deuce is putting that, that these fake uh, accounts up. We need to flag the hell out of it. So, I can't see it. Let me know if you see it. Okay, but I, I need you to send that link to me so I can figure it out. And then I can... Uh, figure out what I'm what I'm going to do. So send that link. Simon keeps emailing me now. <laughs> Simon keeps emailing me about different things they're doing and right now which I find kind of funny. You know, if I could just just not know anything more or if I could just not hear anything more from these people, it couldn't be it couldn't be too soon. So I can't stay where I normally stay at because they're sold out. So I got to go to a different location and pay an incidental. But I told them I ain't paying any incidental fees. So they said, so now I got to make sure that they make sure if they can waive it because I don't pay it at the hotel that I normally stay at. So this is going to be a nightmare within itself, but I got to be able to sleep on a fucking bed to be able to take a damn shower. Look, Phyllis, I, I, I talked to, um, I talked to Kevin today and, uh, Kevin assured me that, um, well, told me basically that he's not telling Mary Elizabeth anything of what they're doing. So he says to me that if Mary Elizabeth, you know, is, is not going to be used as a pawn in their little game. So Kevin has made sure of that I, I don't really care. But for them to go after her, they must be really desperate. That is a skit that we did. And it's and I said it, and when I said young girl, it was not meant literally for a young girl. They are fucking out of their out of they are fucking just trying to concoct something that ain't there. It was a skit that I did in character about ejaculation. And it was about a woman, a woman's mouth, me ejaculating. And when I said young girl, it was it took it out of contents. They are really fucking uh, reaching. Uh, 
please flag it. I can't see it because she's got me blocked. For the love of Christ, flag it. And Hank saw it and told me it was disgusting. Hank flagged it, uh, but I can't see it because she's got me blocked. When they they did something, okay, well, this is a few things while I've got you on. Check my IMBO. I haven't had the chance to do it. I have an I, I have an IMBO thing. See if they've altered it. They were going on there, um, and then they got a bunch of bots. They were being attacked. Um, some some other, I don't know, they were going on different sites, and they were being attacked by bots, which I find kind of interesting. I don't know if that was Chad's work or somebody else's work, but they were viciously being attacked after I had removed that video from Friday. Uh, and somebody else claims that they were involved in it, but I don't know. But check to see if they've done anything with my IMBO uh, page. And I need one more thing. I need to get uh, Fieldin's Party Palace Discord page link. Not the Fieldin's, not the uh, not the original Discord, but the Fieldin's Party Palace Discord with Ant with that uh, Anthony's uh, Discord. I need to get that link. Every time I every time I text it, it changes what I text. I is in Indigo, M is in Mary, B is in Boy, O is in Oscar. I M B O. Actors and actresses have a I M B O uh, thing about what they do. Just Google it to see. I haven't yet, yeah, and I want I want to see if they've done anything to it. Uh, I is in I is in Indigo, M is in Mary, B is in Boy, O is in Oscar. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'll I'll when I get a chance to I'll look that up. Don't worry about that. But I but I need that link low. I need that uh, link for, from um, from his um, Discord. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Simon. Simon been, has been wanting to have it, so I don't care. He can have it. I'll give it to Simon. He can he can fuck with that bitch. I'm actually now thinking about uh, Miranda, and I've got to really think about this because to me, there's some things that don't make sense. I mean, I'm getting to see what Kevin is saying, and there's some things about the Miranda thing doesn't make because she's emailing me practically every day now. Look, I understand she feels bad, and I kind of she feels bad, and I kind of believe it. But why is she emailing me every day, though? Well, right now, again, I think is the best thing that could happen for me is have Simon involved. The best thing that could happen for me right now is to get Simon involved in what they're doing. And then he can be a distraction. So I'm going to give him... I've already given him stuff already. I'm going to give him that link. So let, let, let his... Let his mentally ill mind have a way at it. Simon, like I said, yes, it's kind of like you don't want to touch it because it's it's explosives, but it's high risk, high reward. He'll get under that. He'll get under Antony's skin, and Antony will come out and say something. That's why we. That's why Simon is a good is a good distraction. If I had to ask you a question. Who is the weakest one of them all? But I told you and asked you the question, who is the weakest troll of them all? Who would you tell me? Because if you don't know the answer to that, I can certainly tell you what the answer is. So it doesn't matter what that person says, okay? All right? It doesn't matter what that person says. Because I think you'd be able to get the answer. I know the answer. And if they, you know, it doesn't really matter. I think that would that would definitely work to my favor. Anyway, I'm door dashing until two in the morning. Door dashing till two in the morning. Um, yeah, give me a call though when you can. Um, yeah, I get emailed throughout this quiet period, if you want to call it quiet period. I've been getting emails from that trailer park bitch that's married to that ball headed cue ball. 
she's the one that's been fucking emailing the hell out of me. So if they can use her against me, I can use Simon against them. The cue ball, the, the, the trailer park trash whore that's married to cue ball is one that's emailing me nonstop. I've, I've already put her, every time I've got to put her in the spam folder. About like 25 messages from that bitch. 25 messages from that bitch in a span of three to four days. And they just, they just, they, you know. But if they can use her and then use that, you know, use cue ball, use cue ball to email me. I can use Simon uh, against that bitch. And yes, the weakest link is Antony. Antony is the weakest link. I actually just paused it right now for about an hour because I've got to go to the uh, P.O. box, check that shit out, and then I've got to get some gas. So I've paused it for, for an hour, but I'll start back up again around about 5.30. I've already told the post inspector that uh, there might be an onslaught of um, stuff being sent to me inappropriate stuff being sent to me and that I might have to change my P.O. box. And they said that the only thing they could do on their end is for me to change my P.O. box, that they can't, they can't stop orders from coming in, that I have to talk to the postal inspector. Well, I remember talking to the postal inspector before when uh, bags of dog shit would come into my old house. They would send me bags of dog shit, you know, cell phone wrap, Telephone ra or wrapped in uh, plastic. And they didn't do a goddamn. They didn't do a goddamn thing. So I remember that nightmare. So I told them the situation. I said I don't want to have to go through this again. I said these people have obtained my personal information and my PO box, and I need this stuff to be blocked and not. I need it re returned to sender. Say so I hope this letter finds you well. I'm sure you're getting a lot of junk mail. So I thought I would send you something nice. Because I'm so over Tony's obsession on you and with you, I thought I'd tell you something you might be able to use to get him to back off a little bit. Tony has a serious problem with drinking. Well, we knew that. Almost every night he gets sloppy drunk. It's kind of scary sometimes. He's been washing, he's been wasting a lot of our money online gambling. I barely see him at all, at all, and I'm feeling really neglected in all aspects of our relationship. And I'm basically, and I'm basically his mom now, and I hate it. I'm hanging on there. You, you do the same thing. Warm regards, Miranda. 